Salutations, respected viewers. This is George from Ireland. So here I am outside the London Palladium. So this magnificent theatre opened in 1910. On that same site there'd been an ice rink beforehand. Prior to that there was a circus on the same site. Um, so the London Palladium has always been associated with um, lowbrow, high octane mass entertainment. They've never put on Shakespeare here for example. So they stage musicals here a lot and then um, in more recent years they had uh, this sort of um, elimination show of uh, Joseph's Technicolor Dreamcoat as in guys auditioning for it and then the audience would phone up it was live on television vote people off and you know the others would sing somebody off as they were eliminated each week things like that so they've got Joan Collins performing here um, so Palladium how does it get its name well if you've read um, the Iliad you'll know in Ilium there was a, a temple with um, a statue of um, Athena Palladium there, as in she'd killed Pallas. And way up top you'll see Athena. Oh, can you see it from this angle? Maybe you can't see it from this angle. I can see it with the naked eye, as in um, the, the goddess of Athens, of culture and all the rest of it. You can't quite see it. Um, so uh, according to the Aeneid, uh, one of the Greek heroes, I forget whom actually, well two of them, sorry, snuck in disguised as tramps, beggars, asked so they could spend the night. You can't really make it out. It's kind of somewhat obscured by the lamppost. Um, if they could spend the night in the temple and they were allowed to. Well, I don't know why the Trojans allowed them in when they were under siege, but anyway. And, and the Trojans used to touch the Palladium uh, um, as it was a lucky charm, this wooden uh, effigy or uh, idol. And but anyway, the Greeks stole it because it was giving good fortune to their foes. That's why, it's, that's why the, the Trojans were defeated. Um, but back to the London Palladium. In the 1950s, this is one of the most famous uh, entertainment venues in the United Kingdom. And uh, every Sunday night, there was live from the London Palladium, broadcast on television, hosted by the inimitable Sir Bruce Forsyth. Unfortunately, um, Sir Bruce Forsyth was summoned to his reward just a few months ago. He was over 90. He was one of the last true entertainers. He could sing, he could tap dance, he could uh, ad lib, stand up comedy, things like that. An exceptionally gifted, all round uh, uh, entertainer. So, um, what else about uh, the London Palladium? Yeah, so it just still puts on musicals and things of that nature. It's no longer as famous as it was because it's actually not that large a venue by modern standards. But uh, there's still some worthwhile shows on to see. You can probably see it flashing up behind me what's on at the London Palladium. Well, that's enough from the London Palladium.